All right, so in this video, we are just going to see mesh gradient animation in Figma. So if I just going to give an example, then it's something like this. As you can see, the color is going to this, something like it's rounding, right? Have you see carefully. Okay, so to do that, first of all, you need to check your practice file, and then you need to come here, this 15, this one, mesh gradient animation, and then you basically need to start from here. Okay, so first of all, let's come here, and as you can see, we have all of this component. So for just select all of them, just like from left side, and then just make, click on here this and create a component set. And you can just put a name randomly, just whatever you want, just put there. So I'm just gonna keep as it is like component 14. Anyway, okay. So now let's click on here this product button and let's click on here this first one, like the component 10. Simply link to the next one and change this after delay into let's say one millisecond. That means after one millisecond, this, this component to this company. This transition will be happen after one milliseconds. But in here, this we need to choose smart animation, then ease out, and we just need to make it 4,000 millisecond. Okay, this will be the setting. And now go to the next one and go here and change this, click into after delay, let's say one millisecond. And this setting will be the same. Let's go to the next one. This change will be, let's say one millisecond, and all of the setting will be the same. And select the last one. Drag into the first one. Let's change this into one millisecond. That's it. All right. So now let's click on here this company. Now let's search your 14 and simply drag and drop here this desktop one. And if you just click on the desktop and see the preview, then as you can see, it really works fine. As you can see, it's just going kind of round that. So to set up it, if you see carefully this file that we just merely change this element. Uh, let's say every single page have a same thing. Every single page have the same elements. So we just change the position. And that's why uh, after doing the prototype, we get to see like this type of output. So if you just check the, this all of this file carefully, just check this file, what is there, then you will get to see all of the here, almost like similar things is there, almost similar.